Should have got a Tesla. Should have got a Tesla. You should have got a Tesla. You should have got a Tesla. I think you'll find you should have got a Tesla. You should have bought a Tesla. You bought the wrong car. You should have bought a Tesla. Well, no, I didn't buy the wrong car. I bought a, well, I did, because I should have bought a 911 instead of an electric car. But I bought the Taycan and I didn't buy the Tesla because, let's be honest, Teslas look terrible, don't they? They look awful. I've said before, they look like suppositories and chamfered smarties, etc. But now there's news because Tesla have sold their tech, their charging tech, to a third party. And guess what? Their chargers are going to be open to every electric car, my friends. So in your face, Tesla owners, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Jump in the car, let's go for a ride and let's go through it. This is great news, I guess. It's, it's better than, uh, it's better than uh, the charging network that we've got at the moment anyway. It's just easier if I just fill it with petrol, isn't it? But anyway, if you're new to the channel, by the way, do me a favour, do hit the subscribe button. It is free. And let's push this EV content out to the world and, uh, well, let's, let's educate people that really it doesn't matter what charges you've got, whether it's Tesla or uh, Instavolt or whatever. EVs are rubbish, basically, aren't they? And not fit for purpose. Well, they, are, they have their place, as we know. Anyway, hit that subscribe button now. Without further ado, my friends, let's go. You know, I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. I call all the electric car nutters, I call them evangelists because they like to preach about their electric cars and how great they are. And the reality is they're not, they're absolutely garbage. It's and they're like, they, 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 they go, oh, well, why don't you go back to the horse and cart? Because we are the future, etc. And it's, they, Basically, they're just trying to fool themselves uh, because they've wasted their money on an electric car that is depreciating faster than they can actually accelerate, and which is very quick, by the way. Uh, but the worst of them all are, the worst of them all are definitely 100% the Tesla owners. They are a breed unto themselves. They think they're above everybody else. They've, they've got the best car. They worship. I think they've even got picture a picture of Elon Musk in their living room that they put beads around and little candles underneath. It's unbelievable. Tesla owners are the worst. You can look into the window of a Tesla owner, right? Look into the window of a Tesla car next time you're passing it. And he'll have a, probably a rolled over polo neck on or something with a jacket on, or they'll think they are better than each, than everybody else. It's unbelievable. And they'll just go, you bought the wrong car. I think you should have bought a Tesla. And they try and convert you over to it, etc. But the reality is, the cars are rubbish. They literally have gaps in them. They're just they're huge gaps. They're put together like a piece of Lego or stickle bricks. That's what it is. Not even Lego. Lego's good. Stickle bricks. Absolutely terrible. And they, basically, the thing that makes them good is the charging network. And now it's going to be available to everybody because we're going to get Tesla chargers. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's exciting news. Come on, onwards. Oops, I was going to park in here, but the barriers are going to close at four. So I'm going to get out really quickly because it's 3.56 and I don't want to be locked in here. So we'll uh, just whiz around and find somewhere else to park up. Don't want to be trapped in here. And there's no charges either. So uh, although I'm all right for percentage at the moment, come on, let's get out of here. You know, there's a thing. I was just coming up the uh, way out there and there was a family or a, a couple with uh, a child in a pushchair and they started to walk out because they can't hear these cars. There is 
a danger with them. I mean, this does make a noise that you can switch on a little bit like the Jetsons, a futuristic spaceship sound, uh, but it's still not enough. I think there needs to be more. Okay, white van man, just pull out on me. I think there needs to be more uh, of a noise on these cars because what about people who, who are visually impaired it's, the da it's dangerous, isn't it? Is that just me? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, I need to pull over and tell you this news because we're losing light now. That's the only thing uh, about um, when it gets to winter time. I don't like the dark nights, do you? I prefer the light nights. You get a lot more done. Anyway, come on, onwards. Right, okay, milk floats off. Let's go and do this outside, uh, get a bit of fresh air. Well, the, well, it's not raining, which is uh, good in England. We've got blue skies, red sky at night. Hopefully, that means it's going to be good tomorrow. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. What was it in the morning? Red sky in the morning, shepherd's war. Anyway, that's not getting us where we want to get. Let's get outside and let's tell you this news because it's good. Right, okay, this is excellent news by the way. So this is in uh, carmagazine.co.uk. Uh, check out their website and check this story out. I'll pop it in the comment section down below. But EG Group reaches deal to buy Tesla superchargers for its forecourts. Right, I'll read you this, it's great. Tesla sells its supercharged tech for the to a third party for the first time. These chargers will be will feature in EG Group's EV point branding. So they're obviously going to brand it to themselves and they'll be open for use to all electric vehicles. Should have bought a Tesla. Uh, Tesla has reached a deal to sell its electric vehicle charging stations to EV Group, the company that operates the fuel station forecourt chain Euro Garages. The agreement marks the first time that Tesla has sold its charging technology to a third party. These chargers uh, will feature EG Group's EV Point branding and they'll operate an, uh, on an open network, meaning they'll be available for use by all electric cars. The company hopes its partnership with Tesla will make it easier for drivers to make the switch to uh, an EV for two reasons. First, EV Group says its chargers will be incredibly easy to use. The charger will support the plug and charge protocol, which is an automated payment method uh, that eliminates the need to fiddle with payment cards or smartphone apps uh, at the plug, which is great because that's one of the major problems of these of the charging network at the moment if it's not if it's non-Tesla. Uh, if your car is compatible with the tech, the payment is automatically uh, taken when you disconnect. Uh, EV Group is uh, also planning to rapidly expand its EV point network. Currently, the company has around 600 chargers spread over 189 uh, of its sites, but it's planning to roll out more uh, than 20,000 chargers across 3,600 of its sites, with the first of the new Tesla sourced chargers set to arrive before the end of 2023, uh, which is great. Um, we've got uh, here Rebecca uh, Tanucci, Tesla's senior director of charging infrastructure, commented on the partnership saying the rapid installation of reliable, easy to use EV charging infrastructure is the right step towards a sustainable future and a key area for the focus for us at Tesla. For this reason, we're excited to make our fast charging hardware available for purchase to the EV group and other leaders in the space. Uh, Tesla superchargers trial allowing other brands to charge up. The partnership with EG Group might be the first time Tesla has sold its charging tech to a third party, but it isn't the first time Tesla has allowed other EV brands to use its network. Um, I'll put this news story in the uh, description down below. I have charged on the Tesla supercharger before uh, when I was over in Wales doing a trip from North to South Wales, and it was great. It was excellent. And I'll tell you something else that was Good about it as well a lot of charges that i've been to you can see these 
uh, EVs hooked up to the chargers and I go and they've been there, the car's charged, they've gone off inside the service station for a meal or a shop around to buy things that they don't need etc or a coffee and they leave their car charging and once it's done they leave it. They have no thought for other EV users whereas Tesla chargers actually charge you for staying on after your car is fully charged which I thought was brilliant because at least that gets the other people to go back to the chargers and take it off and allow them and free them up for people that need to charge their cars uh, so I think it's fantastic news um, when I first read it I did look and I think and I thought oh Tesla are opening their superchargers to everybody which it doesn't sound like it is that but it's a step in the right direction we've got Tesla Tesla charging technology now coming to non Tesla cars so no I shouldn't have bought a Tesla because I can have a nicer looking car that handles better that doesn't fall apart like it's built from stickle bricks and uh, charge up and have your technology at the same time so there you go a little bit of news for you I'll pop that uh, whole news story in the description down below do me a favor do hit the subscribe button click the little bell and share this out on social media thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye